What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about my number one tip on how to choose your jump shot release. I know choosing a jump shot base or release is a personal preference in some way but this tip here will help you decide for yourself. And by the way my jump shot base and release series is still going on so after watching please let me know in the comment section any base or release recommendations. So now let's get right into it. So when choosing a jump shot release, I know there's a lot of factors that you need to consider and one of it is your stats. Like all the stats that I provide like shot speed, front challenge and side drift and some other things like green window. But for me personally, when choosing a release, those are not the top priority. For me, your release visual cue is the most important. I know I provide you guys some stats, but that's not the top criteria when choosing a release. I even mentioned that on my videos. So when choosing a good visual cue release, what you want is a release that has a lot of stuff going on. In that way, there's a lot of points on the animation that you can refer as a visual cue. And for the most part, the releases that have a lot of stuff going on are two motion releases. And for those of you who don't know what two motion releases are, these are releases that you need to cock the ball back at the back of your head before pushing it for the release. You got releases like, you know, Ray Allen, Bird or whatever release that has that motion, just like what I'm using on those clips. For me personally, you don't want those one motion releases that, you know, shots like Dame Lillard or Steph Curry that doesn't have much stuff going on, just like my release in real life. <laughs> you don't want that on 2K. So just for example, I have a bird release on my big man build. If you look at it closely, there's a lot of stuff going on on the release. So depending on your latency, you can have a lot of reference. In my case, since I don't have a good latency, and even I'm on push settings, just after the cockback animation, that's the time I release the button. I can't really say that it's the best release on big man builds because I haven't really tested them yet, but I just like the two motion of that specific release. So now for the summary, when choosing a release, make sure that visual cue is the top criteria. Of course, the stats on my video can still influence you on choosing one. Because yeah, you might find a two good motion release, but if it's one of the worst in terms of challenge reduction, maybe that's not the one. So it's a combination of stats and the visual cue, but the latter is more important. So that's all for the video. Again, please let me know in the comment section any base or release recommendations on my jump shot series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.